A cargo ship is designed to carry different weight and volume of cargo under the safe limit, to avoid grounding and sinking of the vessel. The load line is a special marking, positioned amidship, which depicts the draft of the vessel, and the maximum permitted limit in distinct types of waters to which the ship can be loaded. The fundamental purpose of a load line, is to allot a maximum legal limit, up to which a ship can carry the designated cargo. The buoyancy and immersion of the vessel, largely depend on the type of water and its density. It is not practical to define a standard freeboard limit for the ship at all times. Hence different geographical zones will have different prescribed load line. Deck line is a horizontal line, measuring 300 mm by 25 mm. It passes through the upper surface of the freeboard. Load line disc is 300 mm diameter and 25 mm thick round shaped disc. It is intersected by a horizontal line. The upper edge of the horizontal line, marks the summer salt water line also known as plimsoll line. Load lines are horizontal lines, extending forward and aft from a vertical line, placed at a distance of 540 mm from the center of the disc. They measure 230 mm by 23 mm. The upper surfaces of the load lines, indicate the maximum depths to which, the ships may be submerged in different seasons and circumstances. Summer load line is the basic freeboard line, at the same level as the plimsoll line. Other load lines are marked based on this summer freeboard line. Tropical load line is 1 48th of summer draft, marked above the summer load line. Winter load line is 1 48th of summer draft, marked below the summer load line. Winter North Atlantic load line is marked 50 mm below the winter load line. It applies to voyages in the North Atlantic, above 36 degrees of latitude, during winter months. Freshwater load line is the summer freshwater line. The distance between summer and freshwater line is the freshwater allowance. Tropical freshwater load line, is the freshwater line in tropical. It is marked above the tropical line, at an amount equal to fresh water allowance. It is important for any ship to have a safe draft, for safety and to avoid grounding. The draft can be measured vertically, between the keel and the water line of the ship. If the ship is loaded with more cargo, the draft will increase. Load line also helps in determining the freeboard of the ship, which is the distance between the shear and the water line. Again, if the draft increases, which means more volume of the cargo has been loaded, leading to a decrease in the freeboard. If freeboard is reduced more than the required limit, it may sink the vessel.